welcome back. I'm Jacob, and this is A Better Impact, where we talk about easy, eco-friendly living tips and ideas. It's been a while, it's good to see you again, and good to see new faces. You know, one of the best ways to have a better impact is through zero-waste swaps. Making zero-waste swaps is one of the best ways to reduce your waste, kind of in the name. It can kind of be a trial and error process when you're making your zero-waste swaps. Not everyone's swaps work for everyone's journey because everyone's journey is so personal and different. So what we wanted to do is make a video about the zero waste swaps that did not work for us. Just cause one swap doesn't work for me, doesn't mean it won't work for you. So sit back, relax, I don't know, loosen that belt and uh, we'll dive right in. The first swap that didn't work for us that we wanted to discuss is one of the first ones we tried to make actually and that's bar dish soap. And it sounds like a good idea at first. I mean, we use bar soap for our body and our hands, but when we tried to make that swap, it turned out not to work so good. It gets really gross. It can, um, it kind of got a little greasy. It got kind of um, discolored and it also like melted down. It didn't really hold up that great. So bar dish soap is a swap that did not work for us. And like we said, it may work for you, but we actually moved on to refilling our dish soap uh, with liquid, liquid dish soap by the ounce. It just works better for us. It's a little easier. I think we use a old hot sauce bottle for our dish soap and that just works so much better, especially with the dish brush. Uh, it's also hard to use the bar dish soap with the brush that we bought. So unfortunately, bar dish soap did not work out for us. Pass. Next swap. And the one that didn't work for us, reusable straw. And it's kind of, reusable straw is kind of the one of the first swaps that a lot of people make, but it just didn't really work out for us. First of all, it's, it's, it's hard to remember to bring it one, but it's also like kind of weird to carry around. It gets gross if you end up using it. And Cassidy, my wife, is the one who carries almost everything in her purse. So it kind of got kind of gross to carry a reusable straw. It's hard to keep them clean. And it's also, there are also like a million different kinds to get. There are metal ones. And the ones that are, to me, the grossest are the bamboo ones. <laughs> they get really grimy, mold can grow in them. They're hard to clean. Reusable straw is a great swap to make to uh, reduce your impact, especially from like regular plastic straws, but it's just not one we use. And we ended up just ordering drinks when uh, out that we know don't come with straws. So beer doesn't come with a straw and coffee usually doesn't come with a straw if you order it hot and in a mug. So we tend to kind of stick to drinks that usually will not come with a straw. And we also had to get used to just asking for no straw when we know one will come with one. It's tough, but it's just not a swap that really worked for us. You ever heard of that beeswax wrap? If you haven't, beeswax wrap is a alternative to saran wrap. You can use it to save bread or sandwiches. You can also wrap, I think, vegetables with it or use it as a lid for a bowl without one. And we got some beeswax wrap in a like zero waste starter kit, but it really just, we j it ended up not ever using it. It's just not something that we thought we needed. And to cover like containers, most of our containers have lids. We usually just store our stuff in containers. We don't find ourselves wrapping food at all really. And you know, it's great for like breads and sandwiches, but I'm mostly gluten free and I don't really eat those things all the time. So beeswax wrap just really ended up not being a great swap for us. It might work for a lot of people and a lot of people eat different stuff than us, like we get it, but it wasn't something that we needed to buy or ever use. The last swap we're gonna talk about is, is one that we actually really liked and we're kind of sad that we had to, it didn't work for us or we're, we're sad that it ended up not working for us. And that swap is the Pella case from the Pella brand, they make phone cases for your phone. And in fact, we actually encourage you to use them. This is a great product. It's a compostable phone case. 
But unfortunately, they break, they wear away, it is a compostable product, and we had to get a new one for our phones. Unfortunately, they stopped making pellet cases for our model of phone without warning. Not that they should, not that, it's without warning. <laughs> So we had to switch to just a regular old fashioned phone case for our older phones. We, we try to buy our phones refurbished. You know, you kind of have a better impact when you buy used products, but unfortunately new cases aren't always made for older phones. It's a great product though. We, we are sad that they don't make a pellet case for our phones anymore. We, we want to use that, but unfortunately that zero waste swap ended up not working for us. So if you do end up buying a pellet case, make sure uh, you buy a backup or maybe a couple of them. We kind of wish we did when we um, swapped from phone, swap phone cases. It's a great product, wish it worked out. Remember, these are swaps that didn't work for us, but they might be swaps that are your favorite swaps. And listen, the best swap is the swap that you end up actually using. You know, before you buy something and before you consider swapping out a product, ask yourself, do I really need this? And don't forget to use up what you already have. Don't just toss out, you know, your wasteful products and swap them out before, you know, you use it up. Okay, yeah, so <laughs> I guess this has been a better impact. Um, send this video to anyone who's just starting their journey. It's a great way to figure out if they need something and hey, it might even save them a few bucks down the road. Might not waste money on a swap they don't need. This has been a better impact. I think I said that. See you later, deuces.